Let's take a look at topic 2.8, solve linear quadratic systems using substitution. This really isn't going to be that much different from what you did in topic 1. Um, in topic 1, you were just giving two linear equations and asked to use substitution to solve the system. Here we have one quadratic and one linear. And again, we're looking at those ordered pairs where the graphs are going to intersect. We're just going to do this algebraically. So now notice how this y value is isolated. So what I want to do is I'm going to take the other half of the equation, what's on the right hand side, this is what y is equal to, and I'm going to substitute it into the other equation for y. And then I'm going to solve and use that value, plug it back in to get the other, order, the other um, value for the ordered pair. So here we go. I'm going to grab my linear equation. I have a negative 2x plus my y value. So I'm just going to insert my y value, which is x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals negative 3. OK, so now notice I have a plus. This doesn't really matter, the parentheses, there's no negative to distribute. If I, this would be a minus, then I'd really have to worry and make sure I distribute that negative. So here we go, let's combine like terms. I have a negative 2x and a negative 2x, so there's like terms right here. Um, I'm going to move my x squared out front. Minus 2x is a negative 4x. Uh, minus 3 equals negative 3. Now, if I add 3 to both sides, I'm going to get x squared minus 4x plus 0. Well, I don't need that 0 there. I have x squared minus 4x equals 0. So this, I can just factor this, you know, factor out a GCF, and I'm going to be so. I can factor out an x. I get x times x minus 4 equals 0. And then I'm going to use my zero product property to solve. So I'll set one factor, which is x equals 0. That one's done. And then x minus 4 equals 0. Well, again, if I add 4 to both sides, I get x equals 4. So here's my x values. I'm going to have two different solutions. I need to find the corresponding y values. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to, let's see, let's do x equals 0. Uh, we'll start there. And go for the easiest equation. I'm going to grab the linear. So if I grab the linear, let me just jot that down. 2x minus, or excuse me, that was plus y equals negative 3. So now let's substitute the x in here. We're, we're going to find out what y is. Negative 2 times 0 plus y equals negative 3. Well, this goes down to 0. So I'm left with y equals negative 3. So therefore, one of my solutions is the ordered pair 0, negative 3. Now let's find the corresponding y for x equals 4. So again, I'm just going to use that same equation. So I would have negative 2 times, I'm going to substitute 4 for the x, plus y equals negative 3. Negative 2 times 4, that's a negative 8, plus y equals negative 3. If I add 8 to both sides, positive 8 minus 3 is a 5. So my other solution is 4, 5. So these are the two ordered pairs where my graphs intersect. Let's do another. Now, on this one, notice both of them are solved for y. 
So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to set these equal because I mean, even if I just substitute 2x minus 6 in for y or 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 into y here, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go this way. 2x squared minus 6x minus 8 equals 2x minus 16. Let's see if we can do this in one fell swoop. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and I'm going to add 16 to both sides. We get 2x squared. Let's see, negative 2x minus 6x is a negative 8x. 16 minus 8 is a positive 8. And I have 0 over here. So now I have a beautiful quadratic that I can factor and solve. Um, looking at this quadratic, I can see that I can factor out a GCF first. Um, each of these terms is divisible by 2. 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 equals and if you look, this is a perfect square trinomial. I have a perfect square here, a perfect square here. Square root of x squared is x. Square root of 4 is 2. That's 2 times x. If we double it, we get 4. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to factor this as a perfect square trinomial. And what goes in here is half of B. So negative 4 divided by 2 is a negative 2. And now I am factored. So now notice on this one, I mean, remember that X minus 2 squared is the same as X minus 2 times X minus 2. So what's happening is we're getting 2 solutions for x that are going to be exactly the same because if we take this x minus 2 equals 0 x equals positive 2 and again notice here we would just solve if we set each of these equal to 0 we'd get x equals 2 twice this just means this system only has one solution so now let's go back and find the corresponding y um, I'm going to grab, again, I'm going to go for the linear function. So I'm going for y equals 2x minus 16. y equals 2, I'm going to substitute that 2 in, times 2, minus 16. y equals 4, minus 16. 4 minus 16, that's going to be a negative 12. So my solution... is 2, negative 12. And in this case, I only have one solution.